Hi, and welcome to Small Bay. In this episode of Deep Dive, we're going to be learning a lot about root canal treatments. So let's go. Good morning, Dr. Cynthia. Let's start by having an introduction of yourself first. Hello, everybody. My name is Dr. Cynthia, and I'm with Small Bay Dental. Today, we'll be talking about root canals treatment. So what is a root canal treatment and what is it for? So basically, root canal treatment is a procedure to remove and clean the nerve tissue of a tooth. Normally, we do the procedure because the nerve tissue is infected or inflamed and this can be due to decay or cracks of the tooth. What are the telltale signs of requiring a root canal treatment and what happens when a patient ignores these signs? Root canal treatment is normally needed when the nerve tissue is injured or inflamed, infected for the reasons that I mentioned above. This uh, can manifest in different symptoms such as uh, sensitivity to temperature, you know, on-off discomfort during biting and facial swellings that can be life-threatening. So if you were to ignore these symptoms at an early stage, then it progresses to a more severe stage. So could you tell me the process of an RCT from consultation to finish? Normally on a consultation visit, what we'll do is uh, we'll interview the patient on the reasons that they are visiting us. So let's say uh, they're having a toothache, uh, we'll ask them about the nature of their pain, we'll ask them to describe the pain and when has it started and what has caused it. And then we will examine the tooth and combining with some investigation and x-rays to check the tooth, we will come up with a diagnosis of that tooth and then we decide a treatment plan to treat this particular tooth. After that, let's say we propose a root canal treatment for the patient. We will then numb the tooth and then what follows is basically like a filling procedure. So we drill the tooth, we create a hole and we gain access to the nerve tissue where we clean and we basically disinfect the entire root canal space and we put medicine in it and then after that we have to make sure that the canal space is clean and we cannot leave it empty. So after that we will fill it up with a root canal filling uh, material and then we place a permanent filling on top of the tooth. So I've heard patients say that going through a root canal treatment is very painful and is that the case? It's very unfortunate that uh, root canal treatment has uh, got this reputation. Uh, I guess it's understandable because sometimes when the tooth is very severely infected, the tooth can be very painful even just touching it. But however, with the help of a local anesthesia and if the tooth is properly numb, most patients report uh, feeling comfortable throughout the procedure, maybe just some minor movements or pressures but not pain. In fact, patients report feeling uh, relief after visiting us compared to when they first step into the dental office. But if after the numbness wear off, sometimes patients will experience some tenderness or some sensitivity, which is normal and uh, manageable with some over-the-counter painkillers. What are the sort of aftercare tips that you can advise patients who are going through root canal treatment? and how can they protect their root canal tooth? Root canal treated teeth are actually more prone to fractures and cracks, so it's actually more advisable to avoid hard diet. For a better long-term solution, it's advisable to place a crown to protect the tooth so that patient, they can just eat and chew like normal without much concern. Dr. Cynthia, thank you so much for taking the time to interview with us. And as for the viewer, I hope you learned a lot about root canal treatments. And if you want to know more about Small Bay, stay tuned for our next episode of Deep Dive.